What you are all witnessing is the revenge of a woman scorned. Hell hath no fury indeed. District Attorney Davis is persecuting me. She is framing me for murder to satisfy her own personal agenda. Are you saying you're the one who ended the affair? Yes, I am indeed. And not a moment too soon. Care to respond, Miss Davis? Is the mayor right? Are you out to get him? Is that how you get your job? By sleeping with the boss? No comment. I will be happy to address any questions having to do with Brianna Hughes' murder or the subsequent arrest of Mayor Floyd. Hey, Christine, why you come outside with us? You don't need to be with this. I want to say, it might be easier for your mom if you let anyone. But I need to know what people are saying so I can defend her. Was she the reason well, you can figure that out, but you won't have time to. The press releases who you are, they'll be all over you, just like they are your mom. Do you want that? A warrant based on evidence collected by the department. Okay, well, I'll go out with you. We'll hail a cab. This woman cannot be allowed to use the power of the district attorney's office to exact personal revenge. I think we both know that's not what's happening here. But in the interest of removing even the possible taint of impropriety, I will recuse myself. That's all well and good, but shouldn't you also step down as district attorney? I can't believe it. The mayor said he slept with my mother and she didn't deny it. Well, this might sound like an excuse, but when the press and politics collide, sometimes the best thing to do is to say nothing. But it's not even like her. And when Alexis Davis is right, by God, she's right. And no one can stop her from saying so. <laughs> yes, that, that is true, but she's also very savvy. Your mom didn't get to be the DA by letting her emotions run wild. And if it helps at all, I know what you're going through. How? My mom was the police chief for a while, and... The press threw this scandal at her. It was kind of crazy for a little while, but she kept her cool, and eventually everything blew over. And here's what I learned. Never believe what reporters say. They're always looking for a story. The juicier, the better. So just keep your head high and trust your mom. That's my cap. Thanks for the advice. Sure. As I said, I will be handing over the murder case of Brianna Hughes to an ADA. When that person is named, I will make sure that you all are informed. That will be the extent of any stepping down that I do. That's all. I have something to say. I'm sure you do. I am appalled at these outrageous accusations and attacks made against my character. I am innocent. I expect all charges to be dropped and serious apologies to be made. Okay, you've got your quotes. Let's go. Move out. Book him. Let's go. Where's Christina? Robin took her to get a cab. Thank you. That's great. Now, my daughter hates me, and I've committed professional suicide. The autopsy is indisputable. Brown Hughes' death was not an accident. It was murder, and everything seems to implicate Mayor Floyd. This is an unjust, unfair prosecution. I did not murder Brianna Hughes. I will be exonerated, and when that happens, I'm going to make it my life's work to make sure that you are unemployed and unemployable. Your wife posted bail. Your attorney's waiting in interrogation one. I'll get the paperwork started for your release. So, tell me again about Brianna Hughes' injuries. Two contusions to the head. The first one could have happened the way Mayor Floyd described. The second one was definitely blunt force. Are you both convinced that Floyd is covering something up? That was the consensus, right? Well, it seemed that way to us, and me, Robin, Olivia. I suppose you uh, are wondering if what Mayor Floyd said is true. Are you? You don't always say It was any one night. It wasn't an affair. It was one night. And it was the night that I just happened to walk in on my husband having sex with my daughter and found out I had cancer. So I was uh, a little out of sorts and apparently stupid. It happens. I sure hope my daughter feels that way, too.
Max just dropped me off. I'm surprised he didn't put me in a car seat. What are you all pissed about? <sighs> Nothing. Hey, Dad got me a new car. How awful. What's the occasion? Waking up from a coma, I guess. Wait till you see it. It's so nice. I think that'd make you happy. <laughs> Uh, it did, but then when mom showed up and tried to take it away, <laughs> honestly, I'm glad you called because I would have flipped out if I would have stayed around her. Carly may be overprotective and annoying, but at least she's honest. She owns who she is and doesn't pretend to be something better. Uh-oh. I'm sensing trouble. Get this. My sainted principal mother had a sleazy affair with that creepy Mayor Floyd, and now he's blabbing about it to the press. Get the hell out. He's saying my mom is prosecuting him for some murder because he dumped her. As we speak, the entire world is finding out my mother's a slut. You'll be expected to testify. It's no problem. Nice job of crime solving, by the way. <laughs> You're a credit to the Scorpio name. What about me? Where did it go? Hmm? Oh, yeah. What's the matter? I don't know. I guess I thought I'd feel a... Better sense of satisfaction. Yeah, it rings a little hollow, doesn't it? I mean, Mayor Floyd isn't exactly a stellar human being, but is he a killer? Well, it seems a little neat, doesn't it? What if Spinelli's right? What if somebody else killed Fiona Hughes? Let's be real here. My mother has three daughters by three different men. No one even knows who Sam's dad is, so obviously she sleeps around. Why was it so stunning to find out she had an affair with the mayor? Because he's a jerk? Too much information? <laughs> well, there's that. Excuse me while I puke. But the other part that really gets me, she's always lecturing me about goals and standards, and now her sex life is about to be splashed all over the newspapers. My friends are going to know. Yeah, it sucks. I'm sorry. Can you just shoot me now? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably the wrong person to ask. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see Michael here. Don't even start, Mom. You don't have the right to say whether I can hang out with Michael or not. After what the world just found out about you. <laughs> <laughs> 